our world there's animals all around And you have questions, can you down? Ranger Ray is here to show By talking to those animal pros At the Critter Calm we see the world A new adventure will unfold You'll become an animal champ Here at Ranger Ray's Animal Camp Hello there everyone and welcome back to Ranger Ray's Animal Camp. I'm your host Ranger Ray and today we have a giant question on our hands. Why do elephants have trunks? Whew, I mean throughout all of nature there's no animal who has a nose quite like an elephant. But I think I know just the way to solve this. So let's pack up our trunks and head over to the Crittercom. So let's go. Well hey there Crittercom. Oh, it's you, Ranger Ray! Oh, all the stomping over here almost sounded like an elephant coming in here! Ah, seems Crittercom knows who we're gonna talk about today! Oh, seems we have a Paramount Pachyderm predicament! Oh, uh, what? We have an elephant question today, don't we? Oh, yeah, that's right! Oh, that was a sentence, Crittercom, what brought that on? Just upgraded my thesaurus. Thought some alliteration would be fun. Nice call, Crittercom. And yes, we are all about elephants today. Today we're answering the question, why do elephants have trunks? Oh, an elegant elephant expedition extravaganza. Uh... Want me to just call Elma? Yes, please. You got it. Hello? Oh, hey, Elmer. Oh, Ranger Ray and Crittercom, great to hear from you again. Thanks for joining us today, but we have a huge question for you. Why do elephants have trunks? That's an amazing question, Ranger Ray. Here, let me show you. Our trunks are some of the most amazing limbs in the animal kingdom. Some people think that our trunks are just our nose, but it's actually a mixture of our nose and upper lip. And we use our trunks for almost everything. From breathing, to eating, to drinking, to sniffing, to communicating, and even bathing! Wow, you use it for all that? Yup! Let's get one at a time. How do you use it to eat? Well, elephants are so tall, and our necks are so short, that it's actually very difficult to reach some of our favorite foods on the ground. We love all kinds of plants like grasses, fruits, vegetables, leaves, hay, and so many more delicious goodies. But that's where our trunks come in. They can reach and pick up anything off the ground, or pluck it from a tree, and then it's chow time. So having a trunk is kind of like having an arm on your face. Huh, that seemed better in my head before I said it out loud. So how do you use it to drink? That's the magic of our trunks, Ranger Ray. We can suck up water and use our trunks like a built-in straw to drink from rivers and watering holes. Some people think that we actually drink through our trunks, but that's not quite true. We suck water into our trunks and then squirt it into our mouths. And elephants can hold up to two and a half gallons of water in their trunks at a time, which we need since elephants can drink up to 50 gallons of water a day. Whoa, talk about a mammoth first. That's amazing. So how do elephants use their trunks to communicate? Well, most people know we use our trunks to help us trumpet, but we also use our trunks to rumble, roar, squeak, snort, grunt, and even make noises so low that humans can't even hear them. We also use our trunks to communicate through touch. Elephants will often touch each other with trunks to show affection and to let other elephants know we care. It's our way of giving big elephant hugs. Nothing like compassionate pachyderms. You also mentioned you use your trunks for bathing? Yes, we use our trunks like a built-in shower head. Elephants love water and keeping cool, so we'll suck up water into our trunks and spray ourselves down with water. But it's not just water. We also do this with dirt and mud. Uh, you do know showers are supposed to clean you, not make you dirtier, right? Oh, it serves a purpose, Crittercom. We use dirt and mud to protect us from biting bugs and the sun. Our skin can get sunburned, and bugs can be a big pain, so we use mud and dirt as a natural sunscreen and bug repellent, and it cools us down in the process. And our wrinkled skin helps hold the cool water and mud in place to keep us cooler and safer for longer. Wow, your trunks are amazing. What else can it do? They help us smell. Elephants have the best sense of smell of any animal in the world. 
We can smell food and water over 12 miles away, and can even smell other elephants and other animals miles before we see them. An elephant's trunks are incredibly strong. We can use them for big tasks like lifting logs and knocking down trees. But they can also be very gentle, doing things like plucking a single flower or giving a baby elephant a soft hug. Our trunks are very flexible because there's no bones in them. But when we're young, we don't know how to use our trunks. But older elephants will teach the young ones all the great ways to use their noses. Wow, this has been amazing. Thank you so much, Elmer, for all your help. Anytime, Ranger Ray. It's been tons of fun. See you later. So elephants use their trunks for breathing, eating, drinking, communicating with others, and for bathing. And they're strong enough to knock down a tree, but gentle enough to pluck a single flower. Trunks are amazing! Seems the answer to the puzzling predicament of Pachyderm proboscis has been procured! Uh... We learned about elephants and it was cool. Yes, we did! So thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure. Remember, stay wonderful and wild, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Ta-ta!